Hi, this is Scott with Hilux Optics. In this video, we will be installing the rear mount for the Malcolm 6 Power Long Rifle Telescope on a Uberti 1885 high wall with a 30 inch octagon barrel. If you want to mount the Malcolm Long Rifle Telescope on a rifle that has a round barrel, you will need to purchase the round barrel offset mount. First, slide the dovetail block into the rear dovetail. If your rifle has a rear tang sight installed, you will need to remove it. The standard scope package comes with a 3 8 inch dovetail. Some manufacturers have different dovetail block sizes. Once the dovetail block has been positioned, you will need to tighten the dovetail block screws. Next, place the heavy-duty base on top of the dovetail block and barrel. The heavy-duty base has three holes. We recommend that you drill and tap at least two holes to secure the heavy-duty base to your rifle. We recommend using 840 screws. The depth of the tap depends on the thickness of your barrel. Some rifles, such as the modern Petersoli 1874 Sharps, already have holes pre-drilled in the barrel. After the heavy-duty base has been properly secured to the rifle barrel, place the flat spring convex on the heavy-duty base. Then, place the rabbit ears bracket on the flat spring. The rabbit ears bracket has a vernier scale on the left post and should be facing backwards towards the stock. Next, place the windage plate in between the windage screws. Feed the screws through the lined up holes on the windage plate and tighten. Next, tighten the windage knobs to finger tight. Out of the box, your Malcolm Long Rifle Telescope should have the rear scope lock installed. The cross bolt goes through the left side of the rabbit ear bracket and through the hole in the scope block. Make sure to slide on the flat washer and split washer prior to tightening the elevation knob. If it has not been installed, you will need to remove the eyepiece and the eyepiece lock ring to slide the scope lock. You can adjust the position of this block to match your eye relief. The two blocking collars should be installed behind the rear scope lock in an upside down L. This will prevent the scope from shifting under recoil.